Hello, potato. So recently, my wife and I have kind of uh, stumbled into collecting more of the Zuru mini brands items. Now in the past, we've done Zuru mini brands, Disney stores, collections. We did the first two series. I even bought the little actual Disney store play set and did a whole video on that. that was a lot more work to put together than I thought it would be. And since then, we really haven't touched it. We didn't do any of the Disney 100 Disney store stuff. I have actually looked for some, but just haven't found it when I was looking. I guess that one sold out as where Series 2 is still widely available. But then recently, we each got into a new mini brands collection, for better or worse. Myself, I got into the KFC one because I thought it was just kind of dumb and bizarre that they made one just for KFC. They have a foodie series that has fast food in it, like say Pizza Hut, but KFC, KFC got its own series. And we've done a couple of videos on that already. And my wife got into the mini brands books, which this will be the second video of that. Now, if you haven't watched the first video or don't know what these are, and don't know why you'd watch this video if you didn't know what they were, basically like other mini brands, it's little miniature collections of things that you can get full size ones of, but uh, more doll scaled, like maybe slightly larger than like six inch action figure scale. I suppose good scale for like a Barbie doll or a 12 inch figures. You don't get a lot of 12 inch figures for guys anymore, but uh, I would say they're probably perfect scale for like 12 inch figures. And the book ones are particularly impressive because I was expecting them to say, to solely be just kind of, uh, not these two are too small, to just kind of be little plastic books that looked like the cover art. Even though, you know, it says in the package, it says uh, with real readable pages, I figured that would be like one or two pages. But no, it's actually like, I mean, I don't know that it's necessarily the full book in here, but it is like the book with one exception of ones that we have so far. And that is this one. Now I thought, cause you know, it's kind of small to read. I'm not gonna sit here with the magnifying glass. And yes, the magnifying glass there did come out of this. I'm not going to sit there and try to read this. I thought that perhaps that Cat Kid Climate Club was maybe one of those, just one of those like a really kind of money grab kind of things where they start you out with a story and then you're supposed to fill in the rest of the pages with your own artwork. But no, we actually found this book in a store and I want to check that out to see if that's what it was. And no, the actual book in the store does have a full graphic novel going in there. So I'm not sure if that's a misprint or if that's just intentional for that one. I mean, there's more of these cat kids and dog boy books in the collection. So maybe we'll find some more of them. Cause I thought, I mean, I thought it wasn't totally out of place for there to be something that didn't have content. Cause after all this one here, the burn book is literally just a lined notebook, which I'm sure costs the real, the real thing probably costs, you know, 10 times as much as just buying a lined notebook and decorating it cover yourself. But I suppose it's for cruel children who want to save their creativity for their insults. But anyways, in this video, we're gonna open another two Zuru Mini Brands Books Collections and uh, hopefully fill up the bookshelf more. Now, each of the first two we did came with a section of bookshelf. You can expand these out, like, uh, like the expansion things on an Ikea Billy bookcase. But I really do hope that you aren't gonna get a bookcase in everything, because I mean, that's each book, each one of those came with, I think three books. Yeah, the six books there. And one came with the magnifying glass and each also came with a bookmark. Two of the books have bookmarks in them. And I think that's really cool. And I think it's cool that they have bookshelves for them, but I don't need another section of bookshelf for each three books. I mean, that's, I mean, you can display books that way, but uh, it's not what we're looking for. So, but I also notice on here, unlike other mini brands things, these don't say how many items come in them. Cause like the Star Wars ones, not Star Wars ones, the Disney store ones, they had Star Wars in them. You know, said they came with I think five items. This just says 40 items to collect. Doesn't say how many are in each of these little pods. Also a nice thing about the newer Zuru mini brands, as much as a, it's kind of fun and cool as the like Terry's chocolate orange plastic assemblage of the Disney store ones was, they created a lot of extra landfill. They have gotten rid of that by just kind of putting them in giant gashapon pods and they're wrapped in paper inside there instead of plastic. 
So I mean, we still do have a fair bit of landfill off of these, but considerably less and it's thinner plastic on top of that. So that's also a plus. And that is honestly, I mean, aside from just the price in general of, of blind bag things being somewhat unreasonable, uh, the amount of landfill these items create is highly objectionable. So if they can do anything to make that amount a little bit, a little bit less, well, that's a good thing. All right, so we're gonna open up our first of our two pods for today. Crack it open like an egg and then drop the shell in. And so, yeah, we do have, we do have another section of bookshelf in here, which uh, I will just leave sealed because we don't, we don't really need another section of bookshelf just yet. If I want to put it together, she can. Oh, let's put that in. So unlike the KFC ones, I'm not really after anything in particular on this. I mean, obviously Alice and Christmas Carol would be nice to have. Uh, Pride and Bridges and Zombies is probably the one that I personally would be most into, followed up maybe by Bonicula. And then like, you know, the legendary and the iconic book would be cool. That's one thing that does say on here, there are 40 plus iconic minis to collect, but according to the instructions, there's only one iconic. Just, just the one iconic and that's Stranger Things. But yeah, there's not, it's not like, you know, with the KFC where I just, I really want to get that double down. Uh, there's not anything in particular on here that we, you know, simply have to have. It's just, you know, my wife likes them and uh, why not? So yeah, aside from the bookshelf, we do look, we have uh, three more books. Yeah, so I'm a little disappointed that they're each going to come with, uh, you know, I know that like, the Disney Store ones had some shelving in them, but it was random. You didn't get a section of shelving every single time you purchased it. Uh, indeed, actually, it was kind of annoying because the Disney Store playset has space in it for those shelves. It didn't come with the shelves that, you know, it, it could fit in there all on its own. You had to hope to get more of them out of the blind bags, or sorry, the blind pods. Well, let's see what we've got. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the bookshelf alone. We'll let my wife put that together if she wants to. But I think right now she has enough book space here. So our first one is Goosebumps Deep Trouble by R.L. Stein. I, so I don't really feel like these are being geared towards children today. Hence the fact there's like Goosebumps in there, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I feel like we're going after largely millennials and maybe older Zeds. And I mean, you know, even some of those younger exes, there's stuff in there, you know, the, the rolled doll is definitely, I mean, that's that's been in people's childhoods for, you know, generations now. Same with like Black Beauty. Black Beauty was like really big when I was a kid. Uh, Alice in Wonderland. I mean, these are, these are kind of, some of them are timeless, but yeah, I don't really feel like these are like really geared towards today's small children. Although, you know, I haven't really paid attention to who I see buying them other than myself. All right, our second book is that oh, we do have another one of the Ms. Peregrine's books, Library of Souls. That's good because I got, we got, what did we get last time? We got Something City. Hold on, we can look at the book here, the instructions. They'll say what they are in clearer. Said, oh no, that is not one of the luxury books, sadly. But it is the other non-luxury one, uh, Hollow City. So we have two of the Peregr the uh, Mrs. Peregrine, Miss, sorry, Miss Peregrine's books. I uh, just need to get the luxury one to finish that collection off. And our third book is, so I think these are like eight dollars, so a little bit less uh, price-wise than your other, like the like KFC ones. The KFC ones are more expensive. But you are getting less. I mean, you're getting the bookshelf, which is nice, but that's quickly. So do we not get a book a bookmark this time? Oh no, there it is. And I don't think we have this one. We got the blue, like speckly, like watermarked one. All right, and then our third book is Holiday Inn, which I believe is one of the sequels to Benicula. I'm see, Benicula is another one that was big when I was a kid, and I'm pretty sure I read Holiday Inn. I think the, the one I really remember is the Celery Stalks at Midnight, but I don't actually remember now if that was a part of the Banicula series or not. But I, I feel like, I think there used to be a show on ABC, uh, like the Saturday, like the weekend special, a Saturday special hosted by OG Readmore. 
and they would make like like little like very low budget TV movies based on these kind of books like uh, Mouse and the Motorcycle and I know that I'm pretty sure there was a Benicula one I think I think there was a fudge one that actually led into there being a fudge live action series for a season or two so yeah so we got Holiday Inn Goosebumps Deep Trouble and Library of Souls a Miss Peregrine's book so to open up our other one today and see maybe we'll get the other Miss Peregrine's we can complete the Miss Peregrine's trilogy I think it's actually more books than that but there's only three to collect in mini brand books which for me I always read as mini band books which that would be a fun collection I think I made that joke in the first video too but uh that's fine it's my channel I can make the same joke as many times as I want to lots of people do that all right and yep another section of shelving so yeah that is okay so that's legitimately disappointing uh I think that's really cool that the shelving in here but if it's really a section of shelving for every three books I mean yeah you could you could face them out but that's uh well that's that's a little disappointing we're not gonna put any shelves together this video I don't have any need for more shelves at this point if my wife wants to make them she can I mean I think it would be kind of funny to make this like really super tall but I don't want to mess anything up because this is her collection and not mine so I do want, I do want to keep the uh tomfoolery to a minimum with it all right so so far though out of uh, three pods we haven't had any duplicates but I've probably just jinxed to that oh here we go this is actually one I was kind of interested in I don't think she was that into it we did used to when we were younger and poorer actually do Mad Libs as adults and nothing it was really big when I was like is this big now do kids today still do Mad Libs so yep interesting that the form factor does follow the standard Mad Libs are they all are they different though no I think each page is each Mad Lib is exactly the same though that's how to get my look by Albert Einstein yeah oh, that's that's a little disappointing so the first so that means leads to design if you actually tried to read these books you're not going to be getting like the full books we have the instructions but then every Mad Lib is exactly the same so it's not it's not a real recreation of mad scientist mad libs it's just probably like the first one in the book that's that's a little disappointing but you know now I almost I almost like want to view it as a challenge to try because each page is definitely not the same but I'm trying to see like is it obvious that they like repeat yeah I think they do because like that those two I think are the same page so yeah I'm pretty sure they do repeat I mean you're not getting like the whole book here not that you, you have to be an absolute mad person to try to sit there and read that but yeah they are they're sadly not I mean there's still much more detail in there than I thought there would be but you're not like actually getting a really tiny version of the real book but still I mean, better than I originally had thought they would be all right our hardback book this time is Diary of a Wimpy Kid Dog Days which does have text throughout so maybe that's why cat kid there is blank because they didn't want to have just it'd be more obvious that the pages are repeating in pictures you might more likely like actually try to look at it I don't know but yeah we got one of the diary because it's definitely after my time I think this is I think would be kids very much what a millennial thing wouldn't it be because that was very like early 2000s would be kid books were at least initially I mean obviously once you put a book out there it can become timeless but I feel like that's that's who that was originally for and our last book is it starts with us by Colleen Hoover which no I was thinking did we get that one last time but we did not so yeah not anything that I mean I think I feel like I've heard of this book but I certainly have no interest in reading it it uh, doesn't it still doesn't look like the sort of thing that's kind of geared towards me so we didn't we all got one of the holiday we got one of the Benicula books so that's good I do like that oh bookmark the bookmark I feel like in the first video the bookmark just like came out real easy and this time I'm having a hunt for them uh there it is there it is this time we got the purple mini brands bookmark I think we got it we got a mini brands last time but I don't think it was purple so well, where's the uh, where's the collection guide all right so we've got 
that one, that one. I think we got the white one last time, and we got that red one. So we need the gold and the gold lined. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm a little disappointed that each one of these seems to come with a section of bookshelf. That's definitely the low point of these. Which is funny, because I'm pretty sure in the first video I seemed pretty impressed that it came with bookshelf. Because then you don't have to like go find a doll bookshelf to put them on. But I mean, it's just that's too much bookshelf. I mean, I guess, you know, if you're going to put your books like that, yeah, okay, you could use that much bookshelf space, but uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not thrilled about that part of it, but I still think they are quite cute. I think we will have at least a chapter three to this series. Because uh, I personally would like to get Alice, uh, Christmas Carol, and Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. And... And Benicula. Since we got Holiday in, we could have Benicula too. But that's it for this video. We've got six more books, two more sections of bookshelf, two more bookmarks, no more magnifying glasses, which is, again, fine. I don't really think you need a bunch of magnifying glasses. And, uh, yeah, we'll definitely come back and do some more of this. Again, there's not anything specific we absolutely, like, really must have. It's not like with the KFC ones for me. But uh, definitely, definitely want to come and do some more. But what do you think? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's worth doing more of these? What do you... Do you Have you tried Zuru Mini Brands? What do you think of them? Which is your favorite series? And what books would you like to see them added? I think like they kind of probably have to be scholastic for the most part. But what books would you like to see them add in to a mini brand's collection? Let me know in the comments. But I hope you found this all interesting or entertaining. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.